Tom, when did you decide you were going to be in the film business? Was, was it a childhood dream or it just sort of happened? Um, yeah, it, it became um, a childhood dream. Um, I actually got into it uh, at a pretty early age and it, it was a very specific moment too because in um, in 93, my, my mom actually took me to a, um, uh, an afternoon screening on a Saturday. We had, we, we had one little theater in this, this town that wasn't even my town, but um, this valley that I grew up in. Um, and she took me to a, um, a Saturday afternoon screening of Jurassic Park. And um, at the time, that was just, yeah, the greatest thing I'd ever seen. I'd liked movies before, but like I walked out of that wanting to do make my own stuff and after that my brother and I who was also the screening uh, yeah we went home we took we uh, my dad happened to have like one of those like old uh, what was it a super VHS camera and uh, we just started making like uh, you know silly little short films like a little black and white thing that was five minutes long uh, 20 minute film about like cannibalism later on and uh, yeah some of them um, uh, you know, I was lucky. Like they were Switzerland's pretty small, so it's like they um, they were able to like show some of the stuff on like national TV. We got into a bunch of film festivals. It wasn't anything big, but it was just, it was just it was just exciting. And uh, yeah, I just I got hooked. <laughs> and so I um, at some point I decided that I should probably go to film school and learn how to do this the right way. Um, and so I thought, at the time, uh, you couldn't really study this in Switzerland. I think you can now. But so I looked at, um, uh, at the film school in Munich that was on my list. I was going to, uh, I think it's where like Roland Emmerich went many years ago. So I thought about going there. Uh, then London, I forgot what it was called, but there's a, a film school in, in London that I considered, just because it was still kind of close to home. But uh, yeah, at some point I was just like, oh, whatever, let's just go, <laughs> let's just go to LA. And you know, you're in your early 20s, so you're um, not, not, well, I guess you're a little naive, you know, but um, at, at that point you have no attachments. So it's just, it was, it was pretty easy. So at 20, yeah, I moved to, uh, moved to LA, um, went to Los Angeles, um, to LACC for two years and then transferred from LACC into USC for the last two years. And uh, yeah, graduated with a BA and uh, uh, started doing like a lot of short form stuff, got into like uh, some music videos, uh, commercials, but it was like at a time when the budgets on those started to drop. So it was, um, I kind of left that behind and started working in TV for a few years. Had you ever been out of Switzerland? Um, like travel, N not well. Yeah, actually, I had been to L to LA before. That's right. Um, in high school, with two of my friends, I think I was fifteen at the time. We we came to LA for like three weeks, uh, stayed in Santa Monica, and just kind of you know hung out, watched movies, and uh, yeah, I think that's that's when it kind of became a real place. You know, you get off the plane and you're like, because you you grew up in Switzerland, like this, you only know LA from you know 9021 like what you see on tv and like the, the magazines and stuff but um uh, yeah i mean it was probably it probably made it easier to relocate here having been here before because you knew that no oh, this is a real place I, you people actually live here you know so you saw jurassic park mm -hmm. in switzerland and it was what 90 93. 93 i think it came out here in 92 but at that point switzerland was always like six months behind <laughs> Oh, so, okay. uh, yeah, I think it was 1993. Uh -huh. So you pro it prompted you to go home with your brother and make this, this film that was a short film. Uh -huh. Do you remember like w that whole process of, of, of making it? Yeah, yeah creating it, um, this world. I mean, it was only five minutes long, but it was, it was ambitious, not in terms of scale, but in terms like thematically, actually. Uh, I mean, it's probably, if I looked at it again now, it's probably very simple. But it was like, a, it was a bit of like an anti-war statement. Um, and it was called We Are Chips, black and white. And it was really just about a guy watching TV and um, uh, with what he was watching, it was just kind of a bit of a criticism of, uh, you know, countries going to war. And 
the way a, a, a teenager would look at it. I think because I grew up during the, um, when I was a teenager, like the, the Bosnian wars were going on and it was, you know, pretty close to home. We had a lot of refugees coming in. So it's like, you always kind of saw that on the news and I think that's sort of what triggered that. <laughs> Right. Yeah. So how did you edit this film? Or, or did you not edit? You said it was five minutes. Was it just um, one take? With that one, let me think. Because I had done some very basic stuff before that. I, you can't really... That was my first real short film. Before that, we had, um, with those t same two guys that I went to LA with, we did like... Uh, we did like a like a sci-fi thing that was like all animated. But at that point, we still edited it like... It was like tape to tape literally with two VCRs. Um, when I did the first real short, I'm trying to think what... Oh, oh, it was Premiere. Yes, that's right. That was before Final Cut and Avid and all that. I had... Um, well, I didn't, but my friend had Premiere on his computer. So thus we, we got to do like some of the very early non-linear editing on, uh, on his system. That's, that's how that happened. Yeah. How is the cinema experience different in Switzerland versus the States? And I'm sure you were thinking of the 90s, so was, everything's yeah. different at that point. Well, I mean, I don't know what it's like now because I haven't been, I haven't seen a movie in Europe in, I mean, I moved to when I was 20, so it's been 18 years. But when I grew up, we, like I said, we really just had uh, just that one, and again, I should, I should mention it. I grew up in a town uh, out in the countryside, so it's like we were just there's just four at the time there were just like four thousand people in this small town. You had to travel probably like five, six uh, across five or six other towns to get to the one theater that catered to this entire valley of people, and it was just a single screen theater at that point. It wasn't anything fancy, you know. It had been there for um, a long time. It's actually still around, and it's still just that one screen, but. Um, I know before I moved, that's when uh, Switzerland sort of had the first like multiplexes popping up. But uh, I mean, obviously moving to LA, it was, you know, you, 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 you didn't get any of these single screen theaters. It was all, all in the mall, you know. Yeah, when I first came here, like Beverly, what was it? The Beverly Center. That's where I saw my movies. <laughs> yeah. This was pre, pre arc light. Right. Yeah. Pre-movie pass. Yeah. Which yeah. I hope sticks pre, around. Pre-movie pass. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Movie pass is great. 